five victory for a very tough and still undefeated wrestler, Dave Hart. Dave Hart, that's his 18th straight win. And he's going to make things interesting for people in the 167-pound class this year in the Eastern League and in the Nationals. There, there was the last minute. And actually, Ryland didn't come out on top in that situation, in that scuffle either. So it was yeah, you don't never know. It was a last uh, mid, uh, second thing, and he heard the horn go, and it was all over anyway. And kind of hard to tell. Now we go to 177. Iowa leads 20 to eight with three matches left to go. Bart Chelsvig, ranked number six, wrestling for Iowa against Mike Kraft of Penn State. Now he's a fill-in really this year. He's come in. He was going to redshirt this year at 190. Oh, he almost had Chelsvig in trouble, and it's a reversal. They're now 2-2. Takedown for Kraft. Reversal by Chelsea. And you were just getting ready to say how talented Mike Kraft is, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. And he really yes, is technically very that's talented, right. but he's young and he doesn't have the experience that Mark, that uh, Bart Chelsvig does, and he, he just doesn't, uh, not in the same maturity level that Bart Chelsvig is, and I think we're probably going to see that there, but that was a nice start for the young Mr. Kraft. And, and it's 2-2. Two -two. Come on, Mike. I think, you know, Especially at 177, 167, on, you're young, you're a sophomore, you haven't had a lot of experience. You, go. you gotta envision yourself That's there. The top. Okay, lies with the top guy. Now right here, there he is able to catch him with an overhook and got the two points. And you almost think, I wonder if he's saying, wow. Yeah. I, I'm here. I didn't know I. Wow. You know, and that's what happens. And Chelsea says, hey, I'm here and I don't want to be here. And he turns it around. So Chelsea goes to work. Let's his man go. He's willing to you're stuck, go at it on the feet. It's 3-2 in favor of Kraft. But Chelsvig feels he can work it on the feet, even though the first takedown went to Kraft. You're stuck. To finish my thought about envisioning yourself there, it's a matter of confidence. You've got to see yourself as a winner. And sometimes freshmen and sophomores don't do that enough, don't really envision themselves winning. They get out there, they do the best they can. Time you're a junior and senior, that's what you have to be looking at. You have to be seeing yourself as a winner every time you step on the mat. The man that Penn State would expect to be in here at 177 pounds is Matt White, All-American. An All-American who was hurt in early December. And they think maybe they might have him back by the end of the year. Chelsvig in his, just after his senior year in high school, he was a, probably the most sought after high schooler in the country when he was picked up by Dan Gable. He's a two-time All-American going for his third All-American position this year. He's done a nice job. There, look at that heel pick. Under heel, heel, heel pick. pick. And he leads four to three. Off the mat, guys. New start. That's the president of Iowa, University of Iowa, Hunter Rawlings. Well, you know, if all academic departments were as successful as the, the wrestling department and the athletic department of Iowa, Hunter Rawlings would be bottom guy set, top man, world famous academic administrator. Hurry up! And he actually is anyway. Go again! Go again! Hunter Rawlings here, uh, one of the, more than 9,000 people in Carver Hawkeye Arena watching Penn State wrestle Iowa. Come on, Michael. Prove it. Go, Hunter! Now here's an example, Bart Chelsby working on top where before he probably just pushed him away. Um, he's really worked hard in the last couple of years on being on top. He came out of high school, one of the best takedown artists in the nation, and he's doing a nice job here on top working on Mike Kraft. You got to work to be good on top. Five seconds left, guys. Five seconds. Rich Lorenzo. Let's go. Of Penn State. On the whistle. Here we go. Red set. Scores only four to three. Chelsvig has a minute and 15 seconds of riding time. And when it's four to three, Lorenzo wants his man Kraft to feel confident out there that he can get some points. Go, Mike. Go, 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 go. No change. 
Baxter stayed right. Chelsea stayed right with it. End of the first period, a minute 19 of riding time for Chelsea. Well, speaking of Coach Lorenzo, he was an All-American back in 1968 for Penn State and spent some time as the assistant coach under, under a former Iowan who spent a lot of years as the head coach for Penn State. One of the famous uh, Iowan wrestlers, uh, Bill Cole, of the University of Northern Iowa, national champion and uh, former uh, coach. Mike Kraft starts in the top position. Chelsea got his choice, and it's a reversal. Uh, this is, uh, and he's got the leg in, and he's pulling it together, and he's going to score some points here if he's patient. One real there top cross face. And, uh, actually, that's a bent leg turn. That's me, not too bad. He has. He's trying to settle down so that he can get uh, he can get it more chest to chest. He wasn't able to. Well, that's actually a five-point move. He had a reversal into a near fall, and it's nine to three. Get the leg off! Come on, Muggler! Come on, Chelsea, nine. We can improve on top. We can improve on top. So with that reversal and near fall, he turned a close match in the one now, which is go, Mike, go, go, all go, his go, way. Go. Got it. Out of bounds, red down. Come on, Mike, go. Here comes the reversal right here. He's able to just slip out. Look how he turns this in, because he, he brings his, uh, catches Kraft's hips right there and whips him back, and then he's able to have that leg in there, put the cross, uh, the, um, the Turk on him, and cross face him hard and catch his ankle and just basically bend Kraft together for that three point near fall. Terrific hip position there, and he was able to Turn a corner with it. Hoist Kraft oh, onto his back, and it was a 9 3. Now it's 9 4 after the escape. Chelsea wants to work from the feet again. Oh, uh, nice job. He's able to get in on a single, cut off to a double, and get the two points. Penn State's down. 11 to 4. Look at this. Drops on the single right there. He cuts across to the double, uses his head on the outside to drive with, secures the double leg takedown. Two. Now he has a seven-point lead with a lot of riding time, 35 seconds to go in the second period. He can start thinking about major decisions or technical falls here. 11 to 5 after the escape. He's in underhook. Yep. Drop down to the single and throw it through for a takedown. Now he's beginning to roll it up. There's a difference between the veteran and the young person when you know he knows how to use his setups there. He's, he's using his setups beautifully. That underhook dropped down to the leg and drove it on through. He's going to try to force the half Nelson. He thinks he, he thinks, I believe he, uh, he didn't go into a takedown, let him up, takedown, let him up there because I think he feels he can pin crowd. Okay, here Here's the last guys. takedown. Like I said, he was able to set it up with an underhook, drop down, control the hips, and kind of just kind of dump Kraft down by lowering his own level and changing the angle. Now let's see what the strategy is here. It's an eight-point lead for Chelsea. Will he let him up and then work from a takedown position, or will he try to turn it? He's going to let him go. One or the other. What are you doing? One. Gonna go. 13 to 6. Don't let him in the underhook. You hear the coaches from Penn State say, don't let him in the underhook because he has been able to execute so well from that setup. But he has the underhook. Now he wants to take his man to his back. Yeah, he's, he's going to work the, for the fall now in the cross face, a real tough cross face. Settle in here. A minute and 20 to go. Settles back into that cross face again. Not quite able to get the shoulder over, but he had a three point near fall. Gotta get the left three. And it's 18. Hurry up, Cody. Hurry up. Come on, come out of there. One. 18 to 7. After the escape. 
See, what he was able to do, he's got uh, Crafts O'Perry knowing about that underhook. He dropped down to the opposite single there and was able to just move right around behind him after he just kind of fainted that move. Chelsea would like to get the fall here. He would, he would prefer not to have a technical fall. Like I said, Kraft is uh, technically uh, not a bad young wrestler, but it's just been a nice match by Bart Chelsvig tonight, uh, Doug. He's done a nice job executing. 20 to 8 in favor of Chelsvig. 14 seconds to go. Well, he has riding time, so if he does get a takedown, he could still tack on that extra point and get the technical fall. Push him away. So there's uh, one. 10 seconds left in the match right here. Now, nice job by uh, Mike Kraft by getting in. Time runs out. No points, guys. But it's a major decision. A major decision with the riding time. It's 21 to 9 for Bart Chelswick over Mike Kraft, who's a bit outmanned here by from Iowa. And so, the Hawkeyes pick up four more and they lead now 24 to 8. A 16 point difference over the Penn State Nittany Lions. Here we got uh, the newly uh, number one ranked wrestler 190, Travis Pfizer coming up. Okay, guys, shake hands. Here we go to 190 pounds. Number one rank now, Travis Pfizer against Adam Mariano of Penn State, who was another of the most sought-after high school wrestlers when he came out of his scholastic years. Has a lot of talent, and but he lost his first match at Iowa State. And Travis, Travis Pfizer was absolutely not one of the most sought-after wrestlers. He was not a state champion coming out of Iowa Valley, uh, Iowa Valley Marengo High School. Went to Kirkwood Junior College, where he was a one-time All-American, but did not win a national junior college championship. Came down here to Iowa, worked his heart out last year, became an All-American, and lo and behold, he's ranked number one in the nation. And here he is. Now, Mariano... It, known as an down. extraordinarily pull talented down. wrestler who... Pull down, Ann, pull down. Well, I must say, I saw him wrestle uh, Dan Troop of Iowa State, and in seven minutes he didn't make one offensive move. Now that, uh, I must be disappointing to his, to his team. Out of bounds, guys. To his coaches. Especially if he has a lot of talent. There's Rich Lorenzo, hoping that uh, Mariano will make some shots against Pfizer. Travis Pfizer. Sort of like Horatio Alger stories, you know, when young men like Pfizer come into a program and have the success they have when it's not expected of them. Guys, center. Guys, let's go tying up. More shots to the leg. There we go. Cable. Hustle. Always wants him to get better. He is happy with the young man, Travis Pfizer, because he knows how far he's come. But he's not satisfied because he knows how far he has to go and what he can do. He's excited about where he's at but he's going to work everything he can for the next couple of months to try to get Travis Pfizer a national championship. Yep. But it's up to Pfizer. It's a new problem now because Pfizer is ranked number That's one. That's right. Now you have to go from there and get better and better. Keep on coming. Oh, Mariano countered him, and that's the kind of threat he is. He's very slick. And well, he was. Mariano 2 nothing. He really was able to do that very nicely. Put him right down to his back, but... Pfizer is fortunate and did Set a nice job of coming in. out. Now look at here. He's off the shot right here. Overhook, double overhook, right to the back. Was able to get the two-point takedown. Wasn't able to stick him or keep him to the mat for two more points. Pfizer is out almost immediately after 10 seconds of ride. It's two to one in favor of Mariano. So Pfizer knows now that Mariano's dangerous. He knew it, I'm sure, ahead of time, but he had it proven there. Two to one. Well, both time of these out, wrestlers are compact. Okay, one more we... time. Who's ever grabbing your head, control it, use it, get out of it. As I was saying, both of these wrestlers are very compact physically, and we've seen that Mariano is powerful also. At heavyweight, it's going to be 11th ranked John Ostendorf. Here comes this driving takedown by Mariano. Mariano. 
showing some skill here against Travis Fife. And now the Hawkeye is going to have to come from behind. Come on, guys. Iowa's still down. Easy down. It's four to one. Right here, look at this. He drives. He's got the uh, behind the knee and above the, uh, the head right there and drives all the way through for the two points. Mariano leading four to one with only a few seconds left in this period. He might be able to get away without a mistake. He did. 4-1. Now there's an example. Penn Joyce. State has to be happy with the first period. And they also have to be happy that Thanks he didn't down. give up points with a few seconds left. Pfizer starts on the bottom. Set top man. Trailing four to one. Get on it. Get on it. That's it. At heavyweight, we're gonna have I said 11th rank John Ostendorf against Skip Pagetti of Penn State. Chop again. Chop again. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, the nice escape job. there, he was able to come to his feet and control the hands at the same time for the escape. The 4-2 lead, Brad and Mariano. 4-2, Mariano leads over Pfizer. Drop in, drop in. Get your head out of your way. Mariano last year redshirted after wrestling his first year. He was 22 and 12 in his first year right out of high school. He was a two-time New York State champion. He's from Port Jefferson Station, New York. Didn't lose a match in two years, his last two years of high school. All the talent in the world, and he's leading here over Pfizer 4-2. to two. A minute left in the second period. Pfizer against Mario. We were talking about how it's hard to get past some people's hands, their first line of defense, and that's the case here with, with Adam Mariano right there. He's, a, he's tough to penetrate past that first line of defense. It's like hitting a rock. Less than half a minute to go now in the second period. Mariano has the only takedown. And it's four to two. Score here, Adam. Score here. Off the head. Let's get it go, guys. Come on. And the second period ends. Down. The only point there was an Set. escape. There's a man that's proud. That's uh, Larry Pfizer, Travis's dad, and he's a little worried right now about this match. But he's got to be a, a proud father of what Travis Pfizer has accomplished here and is headed towards for the Hawks. Mariano chose bottom for the third period. You start. He, uh, the, the writing time is only 39 seconds. There's not a potential point there. It belongs to Mariano, so. Come in. As Pfizer rides, he erases some of that. Go! Go! You should hit trail! Hit trail! Hit trail! One run. Escape. Now it's 5 2. And here we go. It's Pfizer. But that, again. He got into the hips right there, and Mariano is able to fight him off. Very, very powerful Penn State wrestler. But Pfizer reached him for the first time. Should give an indication that he can do it. He has a minute and 25 seconds to go, trailing by three. Now it's a matter of the Pfizer is on the attack right now. Mariano has not done anything in this last uh, period at all. Wrestling smart now because he doesn't have to. There, fights are in on the single. He's got to be able to finish this. Very, very important. He's fleeing the mat. That's, that's two points. It's going, to be, it's going to be either fleeing the mat or it's two points takedown. Break it, guys. Break it. Break it, guys. That's two. This isn't fleeing the mat. I don't know what is. Come Get down. me out of here, Mariano says. But Pfizer's able to forget We're that ahead. fleeing the mat stuff. He gets the two points. He just let Mariano up. It's six to four. There's 38 seconds left. He's going to try to penetrate him again to get the match tied up. Time out, guys. Time out. 
Over here, right over here. Another bloody nose. This time for Mario. Bloody nose. Bloody nose. I think that's. Uh, Give a rag. And bloody noses. I don't know where we're keeping stats on that, but I think it's two, two for Penn State and two for Iowa so far. There's Dan Gable. Jim Zaleski, they're asking Travis Pfizer to shoot in there and get at it. He has a two-point deficit with about a half a minute to go in this match. Here we go. Okay. Where you guys? What's that? Mariano, six. Number one ranked Travis Pfizer, four. 25 seconds left. He's trying to penetrate since neither man has been warned. Mariano can afford to be passive here, and he is being. 15 seconds. There's a warning against Mariano, but there are only a few seconds to go. And it's a victory, an upset, you might say. I guess Penn State might not think it is, but... Travis Pfizer is ranked number one. It's an upset. Mariano, six. And Pfizer, four. And now the team score is 24 for Iowa and 11 for Penn State. And we go to heavyweight. Between Skip Spaghetti. 238 pounder. That's what he weighed on the weigh-ins today for Penn State. And John Ostendorf, who came in at 230 for Iowa. Both guys. Ostendorf ranked number 11. Both are very active heavyweights, or can be very active heavyweights. And they're nice size. They're not overweight. Okay, guys, here we go. Probably both learned to wrestle at lighter weights. Twenty-four to eleven. Break it, guys. Break it. Break it. Just the only head gear. Come here. Guys, we thought the Prescott Brands may be yeah. the, the wild man. It. it looks yeah. like we're. Let's tape it. Looks like we had to get to heavyweight before the uh, trouble started. Otherwise, it's going to come off. All night long. Next time around, a week from today, here on College Wrestling 430 on Iowa Public Television, it's Drake University, Lonnie Timmer, Dr. Lonnie Timmerman's team against the Iowa State Cyclone. This is my time. A week from today here on Iowa Public Television. And that will be the second to last of our college wrestling presentations this year. The final goes to the Island of the Apes tonight. DJ. <laughs> Keep working ahead, Skip. Work that head, Skip. Duck under by Ostendorf was cut off by Pagetti. Take the risk. Very agile, very active for heavyweights on the feet. Come on, come on, come on. This whip right here. He's able to bear on the whip him over. Over and under to the back. He wasn't able to settle in and go chest to chest soon enough. Get one, get one. Get but it's five to nothing in favor of Ostendorf. Now Ostendorf was able to do a very important thing there, and that was to catch the wrist. And now he's using the leg as a half Nelson almost. No. Nope. He's got the wrist right there, and that's real important. If he can keep that, he might be able to work. Spaghetti down off his hips onto the mat and turn him over. Now, Spaghetti has been pinned a few times this year, and I think almost every time from this bottom position, it's been turned. Well, we saw uh, Sylvester Turque in the NWCA All Star meet, and Spaghetti has lost by fall to Turque from North Carolina State. There's Rich Lorenzo and Dan Gable. Iowa leads by 13 here in this battle of top-rated teams. Ostendorp leading 5-zip. Brings his man back to the mat again. He's able to control those ri that wrist right there, double wrist lock. Needs to flatten him out a little bit more. 
Yes, again, rest. Rest free. Free your rest. Tear the other hand. The hand with the tape on it. Now go. Go. Head up. Now go. Get your hips out. Now forget he's on his feet with the hands, but Ostendorf brings him right back down again. Go. Go. He's, he's working to turn him. Grab that leg. Grab that leg. Grab that leg.